Hello everyone, today we're doing something different. We're having our first look at the new upcoming official traversal module for Game Creator. Before we start, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters for the amazing support. So here we are with the traversal demo. The link is in the description so you can try it out for yourself. What I'm going to do is on the first run through, I'll just uh, I'll just run through it and then we'll do a second run through and actually see what everything really does. So jumping seems to be no jumping so that's interesting and everything blue automatically triggers a event. Okay so we can climb up down okay. Oh this is really nice that's really cool I really like that. So, I mean, kind of plays like, you know, you'd expect from a uh, Uncharted, Tomb Raider, Assassin's Creed type game in terms of, uh, in terms of traversal. Just really natural, really fluent. It's really nice, I like it. Okay, so I wonder how this is going to, okay, not bad, not bad. It's nothing down there, so let's go up. Climbing again. And oh, this is a zip line. Oh, that's really awesome. I really like that. That's really cool. And a fixed jump. Okay. So, pretty cool. There's uh there's quite a lot of mechanics here, so let's actually you know really try them all out so first off I noticed there's no jumping now I wonder if you know you just can't jump or if he mapped that to a different button or if it's just turned off for the demo but that will be interesting to uh, to try out see how that works together if at all so here though all of the blue objects basically you know you press space you climb on them and you know it's pretty much it and the same blue object we vault over. I wonder how this is all going to be set. If it's actually, you know, the same type of object, if it's different prefabs, just tied to different animations. It's uh, interesting, but it's fluent. I like it. Now this wall run is really, really cool. That's really nice. And it seems like it automatically changed with chains with the red objects. So all of the, the climbing. We're gliding here as well, which is really nice. I do like that. But I do notice that if I just go down at all, it automatically glides like this. So I hope that can be turned off as well. Or, you know, at least combined. That will be interesting to try. And the key thing here with the actual climbing is that we can... That's a nice animation thing, by the way, as well. It doesn't, doesn't just flip around. It's actually his knee moving. I like that. So... We're basically choosing our direction when we're climbing like this. That's nice. We can go back. And here, this is really cool. I wonder if it's just literally one object and it automatically detects that or not. It's pretty awesome. So you can look down, but as you can see, there's nothing there. We climb up and the blue object automatically makes it a climbable. So that's, oh, and there we go. My bad. So let me quickly go up again. So yeah, that's, that's nice. Didn't notice, you know, he didn't automatically grab a ledge. So I'm curious if we can, uh, can implement that just like in, uh, I think it's in Assassin's Creed that you can, uh, if you fall, but you're still close to a ledge, you'll, automatically grab it. I'm not entirely sure though. So the E basically, you know, pressing the E button we get this rope and this is really cool. There's, I see a lot of potential here. I mean for one this is, you know, obviously a cool mechanic but I wonder if we could do the same with, you know, objects and actually pulling them towards us. Um, you know, doing some Spider-Man type mechanics. I, th I see a lot of potential here. I think this is going to be really, really cool. So 
Another really nice thing, you automatically go in this state, you don't really have to do anything for it. It locks movements, um, balancing, I really like that, that's really cool. That's really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Cool, so here we jump onto the next obstacle. And yeah, this is, you know, other than it being the, you know, the the classic ledge type walking we see in so many games these days, it also is a cover mechanic. And that's really cool. We don't really have that so far yet in, uh, in Game Creator. Um, it is, you know, it is possible to make, but it's really, really hard and there's quite some restrictions to it. So actually having a... Uh, a built-in cover system is just really really nice I see a lot of potential for this I even can look up like that I oh that's nice that's really nice yeah I'm gonna like this I'm going to be using this a lot and another really I think this is really interesting is we're not aligned and we're still grabbing the object either way and that's really nice so let's go down here. Let's actually, you know, give this climbing a real go. So I can point each direction and, you know, that's the direction it'll go. There's nothing preset. And if I press up and, you know, left or right direction, it will actually go to that ledge as well. That's really, really cool. Yeah, this is really, you know, Assassin's Creed style climbing. You're not limited to just going up, down. This is really, really nice. Yeah, I definitely like this. Here again, we have the automatic climb up for the top. And the interesting thing is that with this piece, we don't have any of that. So there's no, you know, we press space and then at the end it just stops and it automatically climbs up. So I wonder if you really need this blue piece that we have here, or if, you know, automatically at a ledge it will just climb up. I'm, uh, I'm curious about that. That will be interesting to, uh, to try out. Then there's the zip line. This is honestly really cool. I really like this. Again, I, I do see some potential for, you know, using this for completely different use cases. I think this could be really, really interesting. As of now, it doesn't seem like we can go up though, um, but maybe we can turn that on. It will be interesting to try out. I know it's not natural, but you know, imagine actually having a uh, you know a zipline object that allows you to go back and forth. That could be really really cool. And then we have the automatic jump, big distance, um, which is really nice, you know, for a lot of platforming elements. I really do like that. So yeah, first first impressions. I know we, uh, you know, it's it's a demo and we can't actually dig into it yet. We'll have the live stream that he's performing next Monday. So I would definitely recommend tuning in for that. That's going to be really nice. He will actually go through how it all works, which I'm really excited to see. But so far, so good. I uh, I see a lot of potential here. A lot of potential. This is going to be really really awesome. So yeah, I'd uh, I'd recommend checking this out for yourself. Link is in the description. It's a uh, it's a web demo, so you can just give it a go. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think in the description in the comments. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.